Hello and full person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing one of the strangest explosions discovered in the last few years, possibly actually in the last few decades. And this was an extremely unusual gamma ray burst that even today is still surprising the scientists with all of the new data that's been collected in the last few months. That's because it was only detected in October of 2022, and it's actually apparently still visible even today. With the actual explosion and the emission produced by this gamma ray burst, being so powerful that not only was it detected by every sensor we have on the planet, but it also oversaturated certain satellites, almost making them shut down because of the amount of radiation that was detected. With at least one facility detecting what seems to be the most powerful photon or the most powerful gamma ray that we've ever seen. But more intriguingly, or I guess a little bit more worrisome, is that this explosion even affected the atmosphere of our planet. It dramatically changed the ionosphere for several minutes, which then made the atmosphere of the planet expand for at least a few hours. And that's after an explosion that happened approximately 2.4 billion light years away from us. But we've actually discussed all of this in the video in the description when the scientists originally discovered this particular explosion and its effects on the atmosphere. But it's now been several months, and very recently the scientists have released several major papers discovering even more about this unusual explosion and analyzing even more features, including the radio afterglow, but more importantly, the complete lack of what the scientists expected to find. The actual glow from the supernova, hypernova, or kilonova that might have happened here, since this is how we believe gamma ray bursts form. Although some of the recent observations had to stop, because apparently the location where this gamma ray happened is currently located behind the sun, but let's actually talk a little bit more about these recent discoveries, and specifically the fact that apparently this is an ultra-rare event, something that the scientists believe we will never see again in our lifetimes. The event that the scientists are referring to as BOAT, brightest of all time. And the reason it's so bright and so powerful seems to be because of the jets that's very likely pointed almost directly at us. But currently this doesn't explain everything about this unusual event that you see above me, or all of the features observed in the last few months. But I guess first, a quick reminder about what gamma ray bursts are. It's actually a phenomenon that sort of encompasses several different explosions, with many resulting in relatively quick bursts in various locations around the universe, and they do produce relatively different amount of energy. In this case, the energy is represented by various colors. But generally, they can be sort of simplified as either long gamma ray bursts, usually lasting for over two seconds, and very likely caused by very massive stars going supernova, and turning into black holes, or short gamma ray bursts, which seem to be a result of a collision between two neutron stars, possibly some other objects, such as a black hole and a neutron star as well. And in this case, this is a much shorter event, and also produces a much smaller explosion. But in between them, there have been some exceptions as well. Specifically, as a black hole and a neutron star collide, they might produce something a little bit different. And so even today, the scientists are still learning about these events, because we believe they do produce quite a lot of different heavier elements that we do have on the planet, but in most cases seem to be a result of relatively similar events, but very powerful events. Although most of these detected so far have not been nearly as powerful as the one that we're talking about today. And normally following this event, as the jets propagate away from the center, they start to encounter various layers of material around the star, most likely ejected thousands or possibly even millions of years before the star goes supernova, forming a kind of a layer shell around the star system itself. And as these jets collide with all of this material, they start to produce various types of emissions in other frequencies. First gamma rays, then x-rays, eventually visible light, that you can actually even see with an amateur telescope, but later on microwaves and radio light. Here's an example of one of these afterglows. This is in x-rays. But in this case, this is actually one of the reasons why this particular explosion seems to be kind of weird. The evolution of the afterglow here does not fit with any standard theories. For example, as you see in this simulation created by NASA, the actual collision of neutron stars and the gamma ray bursts is followed by an explosion that generally produces its own emissions as well and sort of resembles a typical supernova, although it's a little bit weaker and so it's actually known as the kilonova. But the recent observations using various telescopes determined no such explosion ever happened. As a matter of fact, they've discovered something really strange. It looks like pretty much all of the energy emitted by whatever happened here actually turned into the jet itself and was not emitted in pretty much any other way. Or essentially, all of the energy is the jet. 
And not just any jet, it seems to be an extremely straight jet. Scientifically, this is known as collimated jet, and it's essentially as if something caused it to be extremely parallel, going into one single direction. Now, that something could be obviously some kind of a powerful magnetic field, or some kind of a process during the explosion itself, but at the moment, it's extremely unclear exactly what did that. And because here we're talking about an explosion releasing more energy than our sun is going to release throughout its whole lifetime, and all of this in just like one second, and then all of this energy is concentrated in these jets alone, by itself this presents us with an extremely unusual case of gamma ray bursts, or actually any explosions. This is literally the most powerful explosion the scientists have ever seen. And that's exactly what one of the papers discovered here. It seems to be so energetic that it's expected to occur maybe once per 1000 years, implying that we're not going to be seeing these for many, many years to come making this the only opportunity for scientists to study such an unusually powerful event. Out of thousands and thousands of simulations where the scientists tried to create something similar, they discovered that it seems to only happen once. But even the afterglow that was detected in various radio waves so far has already been kind of different from anything the scientists have seen, and they cannot explain why it's so different. With the data suggesting that either there is another source that seems to have changed the emissions coming from this explosion, or maybe the actual theory is kind of incomplete. Once again, implying that there is something the scientists don't understand about how the afterglow is generated during these gamma ray explosions. But because there was no supernova, kilonova, or any other additional explosion detected, in this case, even the source of this is unknown. Because if this was a typical explosion from, for example, a really massive star, which usually produces the most powerful explosions, following the release of the jets, you still expect something to happen to the star. And this something usually results in a relatively bright explosion as well, which should be visible in some of the data. In this case, only the jets were visible. As if something that produced the jets spent all of its energy on producing only the jets, nothing else. And that by itself doesn't really currently make sense. And so the afterglow that the scientists are currently looking at does not include any additional explosions. But on top of this, as I mentioned, the satellites that have detected this have physically seen some of the brightest light some of the brightest photons they have ever detected. For example, the NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, the one that detected the initial gamma rays, was almost blinded by the light. In more scientific terms, it was oversaturated. Likewise, the facility in China known as the Large High Altitude Air Shower Observatory, responsible for detecting a lot of high energy particles, the ones sometimes referred to as the cosmic rays, suddenly saw 5,000 different particles from this one single event. Here's the actual report, as received by NASA. And it only reports detections of extremely high energy particles. Prior to this event, over the years, it's only seen a few hundred. Then suddenly, during those few seconds, it saw nearly 5,000. Once again, implying that something extremely unusual happened here, because these were extremely powerful for any kind of an explosion detected in modern times. One of the detections here that was reported to be 18 tera electron volts, several times higher than the previous record holder, even now been explained as a potential detection of maybe dark matter. Specifically, the theory known as the axion theory. And here the explanation is kind of simple. So in this proposition involving axions, which have been used to explain dark matter, the scientists believe that in certain very powerful conditions, a typical photon can actually switch into what's known as an axion, especially in extremely powerful magnetic fields. This high-energy axion can then travel across the universe completely unaffected by anything until it interacts with the magnetic field somewhere else, at which point it switches back into a photon and can then be detected by various telescopes. And it's because it was an axion, the scientists think that it was able to maintain its extremely high energy. But that's not even the craziest report so far. One unconfirmed report has even suggested a photon that was approximately 15 times more energetic unofficially making this the most powerful photon ever detected. And if this is ever confirmed, it will be very difficult to explain using modern physics, unless once again invoking some kind of a idea of axions. And like I mentioned, since it also affected the atmosphere of the planet quite dramatically as a matter of fact, by essentially being a little bit too bright and also lasting a little bit too long, it definitely makes it the most unusual explosion detected by modern astronomers. We still have no idea what long-term effect is going to have on our planet, chances are pretty minuscule, but the fact that it actually expanded the atmosphere by just a little bit for a few hours is already pretty significant. 
and we're talking about an explosion that happened over 2 billion light years away from us, in a super distant galaxy that we didn't even know existed until it actually happened. And so since that initial discovery, for a couple of months, or more like 3 months, the scientists were eagerly observing and measuring everything here, but had to stop when all of this became covered by the sun. But now that it's slowly coming out from behind the sun, the observations are probably going to continue, and very likely are going to discover even more strangeness that we're going to be discussing in some of the future videos. Either way, it's quite certain that so many new papers are going to be published about this unusual observation, and I wouldn't be surprised if someone ends up discovering some new physics we didn't even know existed. Or potentially physics that might finally explain the mystery of dark matter. And for all we know, this might also lead to a Nobel Prize in the next few years. And so it looks like in late 2022, astrophysicists and astronomers around the planet get extremely lucky with this unusual event. But we'll definitely be coming back and talking more about this once we learn something else. But make sure to check out that previous video, because I didn't really mention everything about the initial detection. And so on that note, once we learn something else, and so on that note, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel Patreon by joining Jenna membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.